Hello ladies, gentlemen, and those that don't identify themselves in that binary. I'm the Ski, and welcome to my Pokemon Shield Nuzlocke. After our gym battle with Alistair and a quick chat with Sonya, we rush up towards the mural on top of the hill to find out what's going on after hearing a crash. As you can see, Sonya's waiting for us to remind us to go up the hill, asking what's going on up there. And we see Bead at the top there with a Copper Raja. Copper Raja is the evolved form of the first Pokemon we saw, Qfant. It's a Steel-type Pokemon and it's a new Galarian Pokemon. Interesting um, design, Steel Elephant. Not one of my favourites, but, you know, it's a bit of fun to see. I do like the copper colouring to make it sort of a metallic, not just, you know, steel that we see, the Steel-type. So, we come across Bead who's using the Copperaja to attack the mural. Bead's been collecting wishing stars, apparently, and he's not going to let us stand in his way. I don't need to collect wishing stars, so sure, Bead, you do your thing. So Bead starts with Duosion. I had Mephisto up front, and this is perfect. Bead's a Psychic-type trainer, and Mephisto, as you can see, is all bark all the time right now. Full Surrender goes in, and Duosion goes down. Bead apparently can judge our team's abilities. Presumably he's judged them pretty well considering we have the type matchup right at the front. That wasn't actually expected, I'd forgotten this part of the game was going to happen. I just happened to have Mephisto up front. And out comes a Hatrim. Hatrim is the mid-evolution of Hatina. And a full surrender from Mephisto here does quite a bit of damage, but not all of it. Mephisto then takes a Dazzling Gleam, which does quite a bit of damage, and the full surrender is enough to take out Hatron. But with Mephisto on such low hit points, I don't want to risk it, given that I've got a bad record of keeping Pokemon alive at the moment. We level up Smokin, that's going to be good in the future, I hoped. Um, but yes, Ponyta, the Galarian variant, the fairy type. Definitely not something Mephisto can stand in front of. So, in goes the rock, because poison types are good against fairies. And there we go, the rock arrives, looking like a little scorpion, this Skaroopy. Fairy Wind does minimal damage. So, we've got... Dark type, which is good because Ponyta is also a psychic type. Or we've got bug type, so we're gonna start with the knockoff, see what we can do. Somewhere between a third and a half hits. So try pin missile, why not? See what it does. Psybeam is super effective because I'd forgotten psychic type versus poison type. A pin missile goes in and strikes thrice, taking the Ponyta down. Obviously I needed to swap out uh, the rock as soon as possible after that, but did the job. Even if I'd forgotten and almost lost it because of that forgetfulness. So Gotharita comes in as the final Pokemon. Pure Psychic. Absolutely not the right time to have poison type Pokemon out. So, Mulder goes in. Mulder, being a psychic type, is not going to take too much damage from the attacks in general. Um, uh, has defenses, but unfortunately, Rock Tomb was the first move used, and that is super effective. Doesn't do so much against Mulder, but speed falls, we're going to have to take a bit of damage. They started with the struggle bug, which, you know, three hit KO probably. However, Gotharita's special attack goes down, but due to competitive, it goes right back up and goes up higher. The fake tears on top of that mean that essentially Gotharita is going to be doing double damage against us. Struggle bug again takes Gotharita down to any attack will take it down. But again, you see the competitive Gotharita is now 
much better attacking. So a Psybeam coming in, which shouldn't do too much to Mulder, is a pretty effective attack, given, you know, given that it was meant to not be very effective. Did a lot of damage. Final Struggle Bug, however, takes out Gotharita, and we defeat Bead without losing a Pokemon. We only got the one level on smoking, but again, that's fine. Bead's unhappy, wants a do-over. Sure, if you've got all the revives, I can continue fighting. How could someone like me get in your way? The one that keeps doing that. Bead, you know, is the elite, the chairman's chosen, etc. Doesn't seem to understand what's going on. Oliana is upset with Bead. Bead apparently is seeing a big picture. Rose, however, look at that look. He's so condescending and sad. Rose found Bead when he was alone and sent him to a training school. That explains why Bead, you know, is the way he is. But Rose decides Bead's not a worthy challenger, so is removing Bead from the gym challenge. Bead's got some very, very surprised eyes there. Oleana takes the wishing stars and the chairman's thugs apparently grab a bead and take him away. Well, Rose want things to be fair and sportsmanlike? Absolutely. That's just terrifying and shows the sort of power Rose has. Still, the mural has been beaten up, but it looks like it survived. But then... We see another statue very much like the ones we've seen before. Two Pokémon, one with a sword and one with a shield. We can see Sonya's thought process in a wonderful dual screen here. Sonia comes to a realisation. As you can see at the back, you can see those two heroes that we'd heard about before. So, Galar's Legends, there's a Pokemon. While we've got the hero, there appear to be Pokemon that stand forward in the legend, and they've got the sword and shield as if they're using them. So, the hero might have been two people. Almost as if there are two games to get, you know, the story going. So these ruins in ancient times show us the real truth. The sword and shield are Pokemon, as the shield is a Pokemon. I picked because, well, we're playing Pokemon Shield. Yeah. But they faded from history. Why would the truth of this be hidden? Oh, such mystery that we will uncover, hopefully. We're going to be headed to Belongly next, so she gives us some useless revives. So we can head off. So at this point, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And as always, have a lovely day.